All right, hey guys, Max, November 4, Mike Lima, and I'm actually here with Mitch V6OH, Oscar Hotel, Old Ham, Standing Ham. Yeah, from Alpha Rotators, and he's here actually to talk about rotators and kind of how they all work. Maybe you have a wire antenna, like a dipole, and some of the other stuff we've shown. But what if you want to really work, you know, some rare DX stations? Well, you're going to want a Yagi. But a Yagi is directional, which you'll remember from your general exam. So you're going to want to be able to point it at the station you want to work. And that's where our rotator comes in. Yeah, so there's really two classes of rotators. There's azimuth elevation, typically used to chase satellites or EME type stuff. And then there's azimuth only. So azimuth only is typically just one that goes this way, azimuth elevation, up, down, and azimuth left, right. This one here is an azimuth elevation. We have three different versions of this. This is the medium size. There's a big one and a small one. They're all computer controlled, so you can, if you want, you can plug it into a computer. This is the controller. I can push what looks like a little mouse and you'll see it turns. And I can push this, well, we better go the other way, right? <laughs> So you can see that this rotates. All of our controllers will run off of 13.8, 12 volts, or up to 18, 24 volts, something like that. So that's basically what these are like. All of these rotators that we have use a worm drive, worm gear to drive. So they require no mechanical brake, which means that you can't turn it backwards. So if you try and turn this, you can't. They all mount this way with these bolts. It goes in and it just grabs a pressure point on the pipe and it works very well. The controller is simple, so the little mouse plugs in here. USB interface. The USB interface will connect to a computer. It uses the FTDI chipset, which is universal everywhere. It will work with Windows, a Mac, Linux. No problem at all. So that's this one and we can go down and we'll talk to the other one here in a second a great distance of some 10 feet. And now we're gonna talk about the other rotator. So this is a azimuth only. We have three classes of this. This is the smallest. One way to my right is the medium size. And there is a bigger one yet, which we don't have any here. So basically worm drive again, same type of computer interface, pipe to pipe mount. And one of the interesting things about this is when you go to, uh, out there, I'm just gonna turn them somewhere random and you'll see there's a dot up so that's uh, what we call over travel all our azimuth elevation rotators will turn a total of 720 degrees and the big advantage to that is like in my case if i want to point to europe it's 43 degrees if i want to point australia that way it's 270. normally i would have to go all the way around back to 180 and up with our rotator instead of going that way it goes backwards through zero, yeah. so it's shorter, short route we call it. When you mount these rotators, most of the other rotators you have to physically mount with the direction of north that you know. Ours you don't, you just put it in the, the mast and it's done. To calibrate that, you just turn the power off, you hold the F button in, turn the power on, comes up, it's now set for zero, done. Yeah, done. Very simple and straightforward. Yeah. The, uh, the controllers have uh, multiple presets in it. For an example, if I push this button on the side, see it's gonna to go to 31 degrees. I don't have to push these, push the button and go. There's several logging programs that it interfaces with. By far my preference is N1MM. It, uh, it will either logging or you can run the standalone interface program all by itself if you don't want to use the logging. Very, very good program. Works flawlessly. Simple, just click, 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 and done. And so it's the easy way to start warning and working some rare stations. Well, they're gonna to need to decide what kind of antennas they're gonna put up. If they're fairly new, it's probably gonna be something small, small rotator. The big thing is you need to pick the kind of tower you're gonna to put it in. These will go on a mast, so you can just bolt it onto a mast and guide the mast, that works. So you gotta look at your mast, you gotta look at the kind of antenna you're gonna put on. If you get a really big antenna, then you're gonna to have to get a bigger rotator. But most hams start off with a small little three element, HF type, tri-band beam or something of that nature. And these will all handle that with no problem at all. Perfect. <laughs>